What's going on everyone, Jack here from Hefrom, and this is the DJI FPV drone, <laughs> and it's pretty awesome. And it's different than anything else DJI has ever really made. And they did something nice and created a new app, a simulator, to help you learn how to fly this thing, because it does fly differently like I said, than any other drone that they've made before. Now that app is called the DJI Virtual Flight app. It's a free app and it allows you to fly this drone with the remote controller and the goggles, which is actually a pretty unique experience. Um, if you've never flown FPV before, the best way to learn how to fly is in a simulator. Now the question is, is this simulator any good? Well, now there are three different ways you can fly. You can fly using the remote controller, you can fly using the motion controller, or you can fly using your smartphone. Now, flying with your smartphone is just like playing a video game, and I don't recommend it. It actually works okay until you flip into manual mode, and then it's just its basically not even controllable because it just doesn't feel right. You don't have the tactile inputs on the phone. Motion controller, that's pretty intuitive. If you're gonna fly with that, I suggest you just kind of fly with it. Then there's the remote controller. So how do I fly with the remote? This remote. First thing you need is your goggles. Now DJI included this OTG cable. You plug this into the USB-C port, and then you plug a cable into your phone, and then plug that in here. Now I'm gonna plug my goggle battery in, one press, two press, power on the goggles, and you'll see them connect here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the remote controller. I also need to turn my remote controller on, and then it'll bind to the goggles. So I can't just pair the remote to the controller, I gotta go through the goggles. I can't use any other remotes uh, with this system. Um, they have to connect to the V2 goggles, and the only remote that will connect to the V2 goggles is this V2 remote. Now I can connect an Xbox controller uh, via Bluetooth to my phone and fly that way. But again, it's not gonna give you that feel that you're gonna get with the actual sticks on the remote. So I suggest you fly that way. Now you can do skills training, you can do free flight, you can do time trials. You can even kind of look around in the app itself. There are some settings, you can change frame rates, things like that. But really, let's get down to it. We wanna learn how to fly. So free flight is probably what I would recommend. Now time trials are cool once you've kind of learned how to fly. Uh, but let's go into free flight. You can fly in the parking garage, you can fly in a stadium, that's up to you. Now the question is, how does it actually feel in terms of, you know, is it like you're actually flying the drone? Well, yes and no. There are a couple of different things, right? So I'm gonna go into the app here and I can actually put the goggles on. This is kind of nice. And I can fly with the goggles right? And I can fly in the different modes. I can kind of learn how to fly the drone. Um, and it's, you know, it's not a bad experience. I can fly in third person uh, where I see the drone in front of me, or I can fly in first person where I just see the view from the goggles. Now I can also, these, these switches and toggles and everything work. So if I want to switch from uh, from sport mode back to normal mode, keep it nice and stable. Or if I want to flip it into manual mode, I can do that. Now the thing with manual mode is, well, there's a <laughs> there's a couple of issues. I, I don't feel like the the physics, I don't feel like the physics of it are quite up to snuff. They're not terrible, but they're just not super great. The other thing you have to remember is that when you're flying FPV, typically this stick doesn't automatically center. Uh, so you kind of have to learn that, right? If I just kind of let go and the throttle goes to the middle, I'm giving it throttle, right? Uh, to kill the throttle, I got to drop it all the way down. So, um, you know, you can actually change that by uh, twisting a spring, uh, open up this back cover and you can change that, but not something you probably want to do. You can kind of get used to it. Um, but when it comes down to it, the app is okay, right? I, I probably wouldn't recommend it if you really want to learn how to fly serious FPV. And I'm not so sure that this is a serious FPV drone. I take that back. It is a serious FPV drone. It's not a serious freestyle drone. It's not a serious race drone. Can you do either of those things with it? Yes, but that's not really what it was designed for. This was designed for getting really good 
pictures and videos, videos mostly, um, from a unique perspective. So if you want to really learn how to rip, how to play freestyle, you probably want a quad like this. Now this is actually also a DJI quad. I've got the air unit and the uh, DJI camera up here in front. Now if I really wanna learn how to fly something like this, I'd recommend a different simulator and simulators are the way to go. I really have been enjoying flying Velocidrone. Velocidrone is a simulator as well, but I just find the uh, physics of it to be a little bit better uh, than the uh, the DJI app. In the DJI app, I could kill the motors, they'd stop spinning and it just didn't, you know, it didn't fall out of the sky nearly fast enough, kind of. Um, and when I'm flying Velocidrone, I use this, right? So I can use my actual remote controller. I think the best way to get into FPV is to buy a really good remote controller. This is probably my favorite, it's a TX16S. Um, and then I just connect this to my computer uh, via USB-C cable, and then I can fly. Uh, I'm not a great FPV pilot, but I've been getting into Velocidrone a little bit more. I've been practicing some tricks and some flips and some rolls. Uh, I'm trying to get that juicy flick down. I think that's such a cool trick. I have not mastered it, uh, but it's something that I can practice in the sim. And uh, that's how you want to learn how to fly FPV because when you crash, things don't break. Um, it's a lot cheaper to learn how to fly FPV in a simulator than it is uh, with an actual drone. So, and that applies for the DJI drone as well. Now the DJI drone does fly differently and I think it is important to try this virtual simulator out. Now, a couple of things you'll notice right away um, if you've never flown this drone and you fly it in the simulator, that the uh, turns are coordinated and we know that, right? And you'll find that when you fly the drone, but if you've never experienced that, you may want to test that out in the simulator as well. So you can kind of feel that. Plus, you know, if you've never flown Acro with a, uh, a spring mounted uh, throttle, and you don't want to, you know, to mess with that, again, something you might want to try in that DJI app. So that's kind of nice for that. But when it comes down to learning how to fly this thing, I think getting out there is probably the easiest way to learn how to fly, specifically in normal and sport mode. If you're talking about manual mode or acro mode, absolutely, you got to start in the sim or it's gonna be a very expensive learning experience. So that's my take. I do like that these buttons all do what they're supposed to do when you're flying in the app, but when it comes down to it, simulators are great tools to help you learn some skills and how to fly. But when you know the rubber hits the road, you just gotta get out there and do some flying. I hope this was helpful, at least just a little bit. If you have questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Hey, make sure you check us out on halfgrown.com and don't forget we give away drones on our live streams and to a lucky Patreon once a month. If you wanna be one of those lucky people, uh, again, check out that video description down below. Thanks for checking in. Have a great day.